My name is David Starkey, and this video is about the Sino-Soviet split, which began in 1958. Here we have a brief demonstration of the Sino-Soviet split. As you can see, the Chinese are now divided from the Russians. The first signs of the Sino-Soviet split was Khrushchev's criticism of the Great Leap Forward. The second signs was Mao's criticism of the USSR as being too cautious in Quemoy. Oh, you again. The next key flashpoint between the USA and the USSR was the Cuban Missile Crisis, October 22nd to 28th, 1962. On June the 10th, 1963, Kennedy extended the hand of friendship to China. I once extended the hand of friendship to China, but I couldn't reach. They were in China. Amen. I can say you. God bless ask America. now what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. On March the 15th, 1965, the USA declared that the Vietnam War was a de facto war between China and America. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. <laughs> the Chinese Cultural Revolution began on November the 10th, 1965. January 30th, 1968, the Tet Offensive. The war is over. The war is not over. Da -da 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 -da. On February the 18th, yeah. 1969, China oh, cancelled Warsaw Peace Talk. Go away. Okay. On March the 2nd, 1969, the Usuri River dispute took place, in which Chinese and Russian forces fought each other militarily. On May the 24th, 1969, China issued a public policy statement on the Sino-Soviet split. China, what are you doing with America? Oh, Starkey! 1969 was the year in which the USA turned down its approach to China. In June, they withdrew 25,000 troops from Vietnam. In July, Nixon announced he would no longer be a global policeman. And in November, the USA ended its patrol of the Taiwan Straits. Come on, Igor, I shouldn't be expected to walk everywhere. On January the 8th, 1970, the Warsaw Talks resumed. Hey, China, wanna talk? Yeah, bring it. On the 25th of February, 1971, the USA welcomed China into the family of nations. And on April the 10th, 1971, a table tennis team from America was sent to China, commencing the era of ping pong diplomacy. Yes! On June the 10th, 1971, the USA ended trade embargoes to China, which means I can eat yummy noodles, like these. Mmm, yummy. Oh, and on October the 25th, the UN admitted the PRC. Imagine if Barack Obama was around in the 1960s. Hey, oh, look, there he is. February 1972, Nixon versus China. Howdy. Hello. Hey look, it's Professor Brian Cox. Yes, hello, and on May the 22nd, 1972, salt was introduced. But this was not sodium chloride, which is table salt. This is the Strategic Arms Limitation Treaty, a ban on nuclear weapons. And six months later, on November the 22nd, the ban on travel between China and the USA was lifted. Yes, yes, thank you, Brian. What a shame our cameras weren't working. 
First flight to America since ever. Business or pleasure? My pleasure. Oh, after you. <laughs> On the 1st of May, 1973, liaison offices opened in both the USA, USA and, China. and China. Who are you? We, we are, are David, David Starkey. From the future. And... We, we are, are zombies. zombies. Turn on him. <laughs> Starkey! <laughs> calls for disguise. I'm a Chinaman!